Happy Who Day Friday. Today is Woo January 20th, 2023. And welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Sam. And hi, I'm Diana. We're so happy to have this opportunity to join all of you on the daily video announcements. Now let's all please stand, place our hand over our hearts, and join us in honoring this amazing country to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember, treat each other with respect, love one another, be kind, be nice, and stay friendly. Happy Lunar New Year this weekend to our friends celebrating the Year of the Rabbit, starting on Sunday, January 22nd. You may have seen the dragon flying around the school today. I know I have. Wait. Do we have a video of that? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let's run that, please. Okay. Attention, okay. everyone. I bring good news. The Lunar New Year's here. The year of the rapid. Um, I wish everyone good luck, and we bring you the dragon. <laughs> this morning. According to legend, the dragon will bring on a prosperous and lucky year. Yes, the dragon will help bring on the Bengal win. Yeah! Who day, y'all? Yes, who day. You may see the dragon, but did you know that the Lunar New Year, which is frequently referred to Chinese New Year, and is certainly celebrated in China, is also celebrated in several other Asian countries? Really? And it, yeah. I didn't know that. It should be recognized accurately and respectfully as a Lunar New Year. Help us celebrate on Monday the 23rd. Everyone wear red for Lunar New Year Spirit Day on Monday. And the Big Bengals win. Yeah. And the Big Bengals win. I don't know if you saw the dragon today, but I love that dragon head. I know. It looks so cool. Interesting. I was not aware of that, but it certainly makes sense. Why would all the other Asian countries celebrate a Chinese New Year when they are their own country? Exactly. Happy Lunar New Year and Who Day Weekend to all our friends celebrating. Okay, remember these dates too. Next Tuesday and Wednesday on January 24th and 25th, we will have map testing both mornings from 8 to 10, 15 a.m. We will not have video announcements on those days. Next Thursday, January 26th, on our second quarter report cards, will be posted online on the e-backpack tab in your Blackboard. And January 31st is Clubs and Activities Picture Day. Remember to wear your nice clothes. Okay, got it. Thanks. Next up. Did you know? Did you know a crocodile can't stick its tongue out? Well, let's hope that the crocodile bites the buffalo bills. <laughs> Next up, National, National Day. Day. Today is National Cheese Lovers Day. Well, that's cheesy. <laughs> as cheesy as the Buffalo Bills are. Oh, good one, Deanna. <laughs> Thank you. Who day? Go Bengals. Next, Next up, up, birthdays. Yes. Celebrating yesterday, happy belated birthday to Elijah R. And happy birthday to those celebrating today. Braylon W., Roman Y., Rebecca Y., as well as Tab Wilson Perry. Also, happy birthday to those celebrating over the weekend. Harry Z, Brooke S, Evan K, Sahana S, Pat L, and last but not least, Sophia A. Tab Wilson Perry, as in the former Bengals player? Yeah, have a great and wonderful Who Day, Day birthday. Go Bengals! Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to Friday and your last day of video announcements for the week. So. 
uh, this is a couple reminders. Uh, International Club, you will not meet today. Your next meeting will be next Friday, okay? But not today. You're not meeting today. Uh, a reminder, students that had Mrs. Sider's first semester, especially if you had her for Foundations of Art, please swing, swing by her classroom as soon as possible. Uh, flex, lunch, study hall, four after school to pick up your artwork and take it home. So remember to do that to see about Mrs. Sidrus. And don't forget the gear student to student forum is next Wednesday at the high school from 7 to 8 30. This is your chance to hear from Sycamore students about their Sycamore high school experience. Everything from athletics to sin lab to clubs and activities. So check that out. Open all students six, uh, grades 6 to 9 and their parents uh, Wednesday, January 25th from 7 to 8 30. Please register at sycamoregear.org. Hey, that's it for me. You guys have a great day, a great weekend. Hootay! Go Bengals, and I'll see you on Monday. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now over to Sophia and Ms. Reinhardt for our staff member recognitions of the week. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Reinhardt today. Ms. Reinhardt has been nominated by um, the students of SJH for the staff recognitions. Is there anything you would like to say? Thank you so much, everybody. That means so much to me to be recognized and appreciated. Thank you. Many, many students here at SJH uh, gave very many nice compliments about Ms. Reinhardt, and we would like to um, recognize her for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Sophia and Ms. Reinhardt. Now over to Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern for our great characters of choice recognition. To this week's Papa John Character Awards. Hey, we, we made that one mistake that we always forget when it is filming day, which uh, is... We wore green. We wore green. So we need reminders. Oh, my goodness. You cannot wear green when there is a green screen. So if we are <laughs> floating or if my hand happens to go through Mr. DeJoy, that is because we mistakenly wore green. Hey, the character award that I'll be reading today is for Maya Zilch, and it says, Hi Maya, I want to thank you for being such a good friend to me. We've just passed our seven-year friend anniversary, and boy has it been a year. I went through a lot of ups and downs this year, and you were by my side to listen to me cry. You were always there, and I thank you for that. And, you know, the, the one thing that we can give people that cost absolutely nothing is our time, and Absolutely. it does sound like Maya has done a great job of giving yep. that up. I, I will second that. Great job, Maya. Congratulations. Well deserved. And I'm going to talk about Sophia Wepkenberg. And someone wrote, Sophia, you are always there when I'm, when I'm dealing with something. You are kind and make me laugh. You've been my best friend since we've met. Thanks for being kind, supportive, and awesome. Okay, Sophia, congratulations. And again, sounds like you are a very good friend, and I know many of us very really appreciate what you do. Um, we are visiting two classes yep. this week. I know I will be in Huff's class on Friday because of freshman camp. Right, and, and I'm going to be, tomorrow I'm going to be in Mrs. Hurley's class. Fantastic. So, hey, we visit classes on Thursday or Friday, uh, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Have a great day. Hello, Aviator Nation, and happy Who Day. Mr. Stern here to just reiterate um, something regarding cell phones. So this is something we talked about earlier in the year, but we've definitely seen an uptick in cell phone referrals. So first time you get a cell phone referral, the teacher will ask you for your cell phone. No big deal. Please just give it up. We will place it down in the office. You may pick it up at the end of the day. Uh, we will send an email home. We'll let your parent know that you did have your first cell phone violation. Moving forward, a second cell phone violation, that becomes a bit of a burden on your parents, as at that point, it is a parent pickup. So you will be asked to give up your phone. Your parent will be asked to pick up the phone. We are typically open until 4 in the afternoon, and then we're typically open around 7.15 in the morning. I will tell you, not all parents do come during that same day. So you might be without your cell phone for that evening. It's really up to your parent. Um, it could even be over a weekend 
and we've definitely seen that as well. Hey, a third violation. So we have had two uh, third violations this year. That is going to be a parent pickup, and then that becomes an after-school detention as well. And then moving forward, it becomes Friday and Saturday schools. Hey guys, we know you have your phone with you. We're okay with the fact that you have your phone. We just don't want to see it during the school day. So please do not be heading into the bathroom during lunch, heading into the bathroom between bells and getting on your phone because if you are caught in the bathroom or anywhere else, it does count as a cell phone violation. Hey, good luck to the Bengals this weekend. We hope you have a great weekend as well. Remember, you can't change the consequences, but you can always change your behaviors. Thanks to all of our awesome decision makers. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What do you call a boomerang that won't come back? What? A stick! <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Yes, I get it. Now I get the Bengals it. are I going to crush the Bengals. Knock on wood. Get it? <laughs> Stay classy, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations who day and every day. Have a wonderful weekend and go A's, go Bengals, and happy Lunar New Year. Year.